Okay, this step's going to introduce you to the outliner and setting up a hierarchy um, which sets up parent-child relationships between the shapes that you've created, which is really important for animation, which we will do later um, in, in a video later on. <coughs> uh, but we need to know how to set this up first. So the way to do that is um, you need to open the outliner. So you click on Window and then you're looking for Outliner, which looks like this. Now this little chap holds everything in your project. Um, and at this stage, I've realized that I forgot to rename my pillar um, and um, my holographic projector, which is terrible. So I'll rename those now. Making sure that you rename things as you go along is very important, which is why I'm taking the time to do this. If you get to a massive project and realise that you haven't done this, um, you will suffer for it. Um, I guarantee you that. Okay, so here's everything I've made. It's all been renamed. There are the default cameras in there, as well as default lighting. Now in here, I can see that I've got my sun and all my planets, and I can create a hierarchy for them, um, which will affect how that they um, respond to each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first planet, which is just called planet, and using the middle mouse button to click and drag, I'm going to place that over the sun and then release. And then this little plus icon appears here next to the sun. If I click on that, using this here, I can see that the planet is now a child of the sun, which is the parent, which is good. Now for the next one, I'm going to select um, the planet so planet one and I'm going to do this out here so there's planet one and then I'm going to control and click on the Sun I'm going to shift and click on the Sun no nope. try again alt and click okay that should work okay we'll just do it in here um, Oh, it did work, it's because it's parented. Silly me. Okay, so I can see um, that I've now got planet one selected and then I selected the sun. And the reason that this looks like it is selected is because it is now a child of the sun. I'm even confusing myself. Huh. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is just on the keyboard, I'm gonna press P. And that has had the same effect. Okay. So they are now, and I can see whenever I select the sun, that is going to select everything that's parented to it. Now what you need to do before the next step is parent all of the planets to the sun, and then parent the moon to its planet and the ring to its planet. And then you should have um, a hierarchy that will look in the outliner identical to mine um, at the beginning of the next video. So, have a bash, good luck. <coughs>